What's up everybody? If you want to copy a fob for a condo, office, or a door, today's the video is for you. We're going to be looking at two RFID cloners, readers and writers. One of them is a fancy model with a screen. It's rechargeable and works with many different frequencies. The other one is a more affordable one that only works with one frequency, but it does the job. Today, we're going to show you how I clone many key fobs and test them on my condo. Stay tuned to see how they perform. All right, guys. So today I'm going to show you these two devices. These are RFID fob and pass card copiers. This is a very basic one. Basically works with a beep and an LED lights. And then this is a, a more of a better one because it also has a uh, decryptor so if there's a security feature on the fob it can actually decrypt it you also plug this into your computer and it's got a software that allows you to do so much more in order to program things so this zzx7 fob cloner can read and write in multiple frequencies like 125 kilohertz 175 kilohertz 250 300 375 500 and 13.56 millihertz icuid gen 1 cards which are the tap cards that you usually would find at offices it's rechargeable via usb-c and so far i haven't even had to recharge the card and I copied maybe 50 fobs. So the package comes with five rewritable cards, five UID key fobs, which are the larger ones. And then you get the T5577 little key fobs, which are 125 kilohertz. And I'm gonna show you how to basically copy this one into all of these. All right, so not much to this. This is the ZZ. I call it the ZZ. This is where you have to make sure you have your thing on. So make sure you're in that surface diameter. On this one, it's in the front. So you just kind of hold it like this, okay? So you all you do is you press read. Don't have to worry about the frequency, it's gonna auto scan it for you. So let's go show you these ones because I've already copied stuff on here. So we click read and you can see AVID 26 bit ends with 114, which is what this one is. If you read the code here, 39114, right? So let's say we wanna clear that. So what do we do? Well, we just basically put one, two, three, and we go right. All right, and now when I scan this, you see that? Scans this is one, two, three. So now this one will not work. Now this one, Let's take a look at this one, read this one, same thing. It's got the Avid on there. So we're just gonna put one, four, one, write, write, read. There we go, scans it as one, four, one. And then finally this one, it's already at one, two, three. All right, and these, this is like another fob key. These are 125 kilohertz T5577 RFID key fobs, which I bought separately from Amazon. Now these key fobs have the Atmel T5577 chip, like I mentioned, which is compatible with other universal 125 kilohertz tags and RFID card reader and writers. All right, so these are four fobs. Now we wanna put the data from here onto here. So let's first use this one. There it goes. All right, so now again, 26 bit, 114. Now let's go and get each one of these. So now what we do is we go right, done, done. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if we can use the copy to create a copy, all right? Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So let's go read, yup, read, yup. And now let's go read this one and let's copy. Right. So unlike the more expensive handheld RFID cloner, this one can read and write only at 125 kilohertz. This means it will not read or write any of the NFC tags in the HID I class or anything that has a higher frequency. And first we gotta turn it on. This one operates on two batteries. So now we're gonna try this RFID reader on the key fob, which has the higher frequency than the 125 to show you that it's not gonna work. So as you can see, it's not working with these key fobs. Now, original key fob has 125 kilohertz, so let's try it on this one. You see, it works. Now we're gonna see if we can paste that into here. It's supposed to give you a long beep. There we go. So you can see it took like three tries, but it did work. So now we're gonna read just to make sure. And it copied the AVID. All right, so here's the fob. This is the original key. You can see it works, okay? So this is the fob. Now I'm gonna show you the ones that we scan, all of these. So we'll go one by one. It's the yellow. This is the black one. Works. Another black one. As you see on the line. See that? And then we got the blue one. And then finally we got the red one. All right, so we're inside the condo, because it's cold outside. So we're gonna go to deprogram this one. So now if we read this key, there we go. So you can see Avid works. Now we're gonna reprogram this. Okay, so now if we read it, now it shouldn't work. So we're gonna go outside. 
can assure you. Same key, nothing. So, I mean, between these two, I would honestly say almost triple the price of this one, you can get this one, but this one's does a lot more. And it's always nice just to visually see, you know, if something is working or not. And that's the video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.